Welcome to Film Study Podcast. In a second, you will see Chanel and I's face, but again, um, yeah, you're going to hear me and her talking about the second uh, half of the season six finale. Uh, I really hope that you have enjoyed like all of the conversations that we've had on this show and been so proud to do it. So here's the last official review. With that being said, the biggest part of this episode was the wedding. Obviously, it was all about yes. the wedding, but um, Liv, so first of all, poop-stained wedding venue is crazy. That's what Spencer said. Yeah. <laughs> That's He's not wrong. Said. He's not wrong. He's not wrong, but Spencer was very adamant that he was going to make this wedding happen, unbeknownst to Liv at the time. Um, and Liv just sort of focuses on uh, packing to move to New York. Um, she also canceled all of the vendors so quickly. And I wondered, why is she canceling it and not the wedding planner? They had a wedding planner? Yeah, because oh. she said the wedding planner, uh, I don't, I think the wedding planner called Spencer. Uh, oh, okay. To say that it, to tell them about the venue, and so we didn't hear anything from the wedding planner. I guess the wedding planner got the check and, and moved on. But <laughs> maybe was... she got the boot too. I know. Not having a wedding was the point of a wedding planner. <laughs> Crazy. I'm not paying insurance. for somebody if something's canceled. I hope they I... had. Ins- I hope they had insurance. Weddings are so expensive. Uh, you can to have cancel all of the vendors. It's crazy. That. Um. So anyway, you know what I also wondered about as we're getting this flashbacks? Because we got a ton of flashbacks. Um, You know, Jordan comes to check in on Liv and then Layla comes to check in on Liv. And, you know, that's when Liv says the whole like, oh, it's you don't have to babysit Liv. Like, you know, and then makes the joke about the kids. Um, But she basically had this girl on like, (laughs) you know what, watch. And I'm like... (laughs) Is she okay? Can you I mean, by listen, herself? she had that knife going, so <laughs> I think that they did the right thing. Uh, but well, this is what I'll bring up first. I also want to know, in terms of timing, why was the Baker House not packed up yet? Realistically, this was still yeah. supposed to be the wedding day, and True. they didn't have a ton of time anyway yeah. to pack. So. Why did she wait until the last minute? Inefficiencies all around. So People are, y'all are focusing on the wrong things, trying to find fo- half brothers and uncles. <laughs> y'all need to be packing up this house. Y'all moving. need to be packing up this house? Apparently, I need to explain calendars to you because why did you plan your wedding right up against training camp? Also, y'all need movers. Let's oh, be real. If girl. you're doing grown things, if they're doing grown things for buying houses, okay, talk about getting married and starting families. Hire movers. Can I also share? Probably in terms of like, I don't get like pissed off very often, but this one did it for me. With the. F- <laughs> When the first flashback that we got, because they were sort of doing this like obstacles in Spencer and Olivia's way, because Liv was thinking in obstacles, and we get that flashback of Spencer and Olivia because she picks up Layla's clothes. And I'm like, I first of all, I said I don't remember Olivia wearing red when they first met, and then the flashback I- goes to Layla coming up and not only do we get a random flashback of Layla but then Layla apologizes for being an obstacle in Spolivia's way yeah we're on season 6 yeah and she's apologizing as a grown woman for something it's that married. happened in season one. Yeah, it's like literally married to somebody The else. pilot! <laughs> like, yeah, it's true. This shouldn't even be a discussion. They're, they're in a, and like Liv said that, but to me, 
because it still seemed like she low key felt some type of way. Who Layla? Liv. Yeah. Oh, like when right. she got the flashback, she was kind of like, uh, "I think this is like uh, Layla's." Yeah, and it, she, was, it looks like she felt it, some type of way. It was just so incredibly unnecessary. And me again, I root for that friendship more than most. I've spent a good deal of time like actually outlining their friendship, and then the fact that they had like. Liv said, oh, you know, we haven't talked about it. We're not, you know, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, but you have. You've had several conversations on this exact point. What was the... And... What was the reason? No, for real. What was the reason? (laughs) What was the reason? (laughs) Like, it made me so upset and upset specifically because to me that was all american falling back on their worst habits and that's Mm -hmm. having the women over apologize for something that they've already apologized for time and again bringing up something what layla has moved on way past moved on live you're getting married to this man of course she does is not thinking about high school so the fact that they actually wrote a scene and then kept it in that says Liv picks this up has a flashback of Layla coming is like oh this Layla stuff got mixed into mine and then Layla's like I'm sorry for being an obstacle what are we doing (laughs) she's It was like, <laughs> I like in my opinion, it's like listening to your worst critics because there are audience members who feel, oh, they need to have a conversation, even though they've had multiple. They need to have a conversation. They need to address this. And then sort of them taking this as like, oh, we should address. You don't because you've already addressed it so many times. And why why on earth? earth are we addressing this in the final episode of spencer's tenure in the season finale of season six preach i'm off my soapbox but that that is something i cannot abide i'm kidding (laughs) don't stand for a girl I just that truly that moment truly baffled me. It baffled me. <laughs> Cause also I'll also say this. At no point, at no point did we get uh Asher and Spencer having a conversation where Asher is just like, Well, you got the girl. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah. It's true. That's definitely true. <laughs> Listen, Chris, they didn't bring Chris back to say, you know what? I told you. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah. So that just, and again, it's just like black women have to, black women are forced into these situations where people always have a hyper focus on us and what we're doing and what we're not doing and what we're not apologizing for or whatever have you, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And so to see that in media where this was like the most unnecessary thing Mm -hmm. to see two black women, first of all, have to hash this issue out once again, Mm -hmm. that's been so way passed over, Um, but have to hash this issue out. Yeah, for something that happened in high school. Yeah. Also, while they were both at their lowest, uh, or one of their lowest points, right? Like Olivia right out of rehab and Layla on the verge of depression. Like, (sighs) yeah. But also, it's like it's simply it's high school. It's high school. You (laughs) you as an adult now, like. You don't even remember half of the conversations that you have in high school. Oh, Granted, no. yes, it's a show, but you're right. I'm not going to. Why am I going to fault somebody for who they dated in high school? 
I understand you're my best friend. Like, but you're married to someone else now. Like, you guys are probably going to have kids. It, it's completely irrelevant. So yeah, that was just. <laughs> yeah, there was no need to bring it up again. I, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something I will say, though, is that somebody did say uh, they were just like, Layla is doing X, Y, Z for Spencer. She still wants it. <laughs> so, <laughs> Wait. How delusional can you be? Oh my god. I said, I said not this narrative again. <laughs> she still wants him. Yo, this is the toxic stuff y'all be listening to. And I was guys. like, I'm like, so glad I will not have to listen to these wrong opinions anymore. But yeah. also, it just reminded me because later on, like, Spencer kisses Kia on the cheek, and I'm like, that's like saying, like, Spencer's always gonna love Kia. Like, that's mm. really always, like, he wishes that he did it best. <laughs> we gotta stop. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, we gotta stop listening to podcasts, but. <laughs> <laughs> you said everyone except these, this one. <laughs> I'm at these male ones <laughs> that perpetuate that idea, you know? It's crazy. It's wild. So, anyway, that was that, was that but. <laughs> After that oddly somber moment, they have a, a sentimental one where uh, she finds the bed sheet when they made the fort uh, and they're talking about the sleepovers. Um, and again, just that like the Baker house is really home. Uh, and then she can, like finds a necklace that he gave her in Vegas. And I'm like, why are we pretending that all of these are sad? Like, why is this so somber? <laughs> Yeah, I just didn't get like I'm like these should be happy. Memories. I guess that's right. uh, one of my uh, probably it just wasn't my most favorite part of the episode is that like Liv was just so down for most mm-hmm. of the episode. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so she looks at all of these things as uh, obstacles, but also like memories. Um, and then like Laura comes and tries to help her, but then that's like. You know, and then Spencer is missing in terms of Olivia because we know that he's planning the secret wedding. But right. all that to say, Laura calls Wendy, the grandmother, in for backup. Um, and then you know, it was basically this whole conversation of like, "Oh, Liv, you see obstacles, but I see resilience," and that makes her think differently about it, which is why she calls up Spencer and is like, "Hey, what you said at the very beginning, like, let's just go to the courthouse." So, what did you think about that for Liv? Obviously, you wanted her to get to that conclusion a little bit quicker, but mm-hmm. but I guess she had to replay all of those moments. I kind of agree with you though that the memories I think should have been like happy memories to kind of help her along with that thought of like, regardless of all the things that we've been through, like it's always been a happy time. And this is, this union is a good one. Regardless of the mess, let's just get married and call it a day. You know what I mean? Like as long as we're together and we've made it official, what does it really matter? But I guess the purpose of not having that was the introduction again of, Wendy and kind of that conversation. So, um, it's it's fine. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna harp on it too much. But I'm glad that we got to a happier conclusion for sure. I'm screaming. <laughs> Why? On the inside? No, <laughs> you were like, uh-huh. it's fine. It's it's fine. fine. It's... I'm I'm you, the, that person that was in the comments. She's finna text me when she listens to this, and she was like, "Chanel wanted to say." <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm truly not holding back. It's just one of those things where I'm screaming. I try to think to myself again, how could I make it better? I guess how I can make it better, just like not include that and do it the way that I kind of just explained it to you. Mm-hmm. But eh, dude, it, just, it is what it is. It is what it I is. Probably it is did what it is. It. I'm glad that she eventually got to it. I just, I think for the necklace and I, I'm going to be honest, 
this I thought it would be more really- iconic things. That would be a flashback. As a yeah, person. and I'm like, I also maybe that's what it is. I think, and again, here's my very, very transparent moment: is that I just would not have used the flashbacks really at all, to be honest. Yeah, with you. I, I understand it's his last episode, but I think that sometimes this show finds it challenging to like strike a balance um, when they do have flashbacks because, and I've said it, I think with earlier episodes this season but it just feels like they're over indexing on the flashbacks a little bit um okay. and i felt that way with this one to your point why aren't we getting more iconic flashbacks like why i thought that we w- might get a flashback with like her coming to invite him to the party for the first time like why are we seeing <laughs> layla in a flashback why are we right. seeing her be sad about the necklace that was supposed to prove that they're forever love why aren't we getting the forever love flashback right like yeah. i see a forever love here there's just mm-hmm. so many other flashbacks and then in terms of like the 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 tent like it was nice but i also feel like we just could have gotten the tent without, without getting it. the flashback of the tent yeah um so it's like that sort of a thing where i just i one thing is i just want to use less flashbacks or use different ones um to to drive the point home and again like you were saying just because it felt like and i i feel like that was also kind of a like longer scene the one with her and wendy as well Mm -hmm. and like remembering correctly and so for wendy to not have to do all of that explaining to live is just to your point setting these flashbacks up to know okay we have been through some quote-unquote obstacles but like it's we're destined for each other and that's the the biggest obstacle was going to be them getting shot too i'm so sorry i interrupted no you're no no no, you're fine but but i guess because because they've showed that flashback when they were in vegas and having the realization and so again is that the vegas flashbacks worked perfectly because it was a realization Mm. and i just think this this episode realization yeah this episode didn't need it especially Mm -hmm. because she wasn't coming to a realization she was kind of just um yeah Yeah. Yeah. she was literally just you know more about stress than anything else exactly like why is she sad about the that like i don't understand why she's sad about the necklace and i I, again i i'm trying to put it in the perspective of my wedding venue just got canceled and she feels like she's not going to get married so i'm trying to put that in perspective yeah um but i also feel like we just saw her like go last through this process yeah in the last episode mm-hmm. and, and so then it, realize like oh it's okay like exactly, exactly it's not really bad luck and yada yada yeah, and that's why right i back into it yeah yeah and sorry for interrupting we're both really bad we're like see and this is what it's <laughs> that's why 10 years ago i'm <laughs> No, but why I said at the top that I feel like it was more of a send off to Spencer than it was for Olivia because as a huge fan of her character, I just felt like she couldn't we're giving Olivia sort of the sword to fall on again where she has to exactly like that where she has to be (laughs) the one that's learning the lesson or that is sort of causing the delay or like you know more of the sadder of the two and all of these things and it's she's played that role for so much of their relationship because Spencer Mm -hmm. is the protagonist and I just would have appreciated them not giving her that role this go Mm. around especially because she was just the one like what if and I mean this is a lot for her to do I love that Spencer was planning and all of this stuff but I don't know it just even in the beginning of the season like they made her you know have this thing with this guy potentially and then she had to set up boundary and so it's like why is Liv always the one to fall on the sword for this relationship uh, Mm. and have to go through the lessons for this relationship 
why did any of them need to go through a lesson today? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. I guess he plays the knight in shining armor a lot, and you would like to see her also be a strong, more resilient character. Yeah, because I feel like that that, that she... Or get, I think, again, the roles that she's had to play since sort of they really established them starting to get together is that that sort of, I don't love this word, but damsel in distress. Yeah. Um, but she's always been there for him. She's always been a rock for him. So why mm-hmm. not show them sort of tackling this together? Gotcha. Yeah. So not, none of them need to be the damsel. Like, they just... Mm-hmm tackle it together both the white knight honestly that would be really nice because you would really see their union come together exactly but like then i guess you lose the romantic part of him planning the whole thing at the end and yeah. rescuing and saving the day so yeah but again it's it. like she's that she can't help himself it, you know he gonna save something and li- <sighs> that's all well and good but why <sighs> Again, just on her wedding day, I do, because she's again she's taking a lot of hits and a lot of hits from the fans, a lot of hits from the audience, and I yeah. just would have preferred something. They kind of just wrote a weaker character. Yeah. And to your point, she should be a lot more resilient just because of everything that she's been through. And she is a very strong character, so I just don't understand yeah. why. You know, it was. It ended up this way. And again, I know you need a story to tell, but something mm-hmm. else, please. Yeah. <laughs> Not something else. But also, again, because we got to see so many people valuing Spencer as they should, but I, I it didn't yeah. feel like thank you, Olivia, for being a rock. Like, Spencer said that, mm-hmm. um, I want to say two episodes ago, but I mean, think about everything that Olivia's character has done for other characters, and we did not get a goodbye for her. And I guess maybe maybe I'm, as I'm talking to you, I'm realizing that that's making me a little sad because yes. I because this character that we all saw was so giving of herself mm-hmm. in the pilot and then throughout the series this now potentially last episode of hers she's like sad and Mm -hmm. you know obviously she got it together in the end but it was also like by the by by the time that she got it together it was like oh we have to do this wonderful great and deserve send off for spencer james but i don't know yeah I, I I love them as a couple, but I also love Liv as an individual, and I just don't think that we got the send-off for Liv as an individual with this gotcha. particular storyline. Yeah. But speaking of the couple, all things Bolivia was great. Um, <laughs> Coop gives Spencer advice, kind of, because uh, yeah. he's, like, freaking out, turning into, as he should, like, his wedding got canceled last minute and his fiance now wife was freaking out at the time but gives him the advice is like you'll you'll get through it and then he like wants to get married on the south crenshaw football field i don't know why that was ever a thought of his oh my god probably the worst thought he's ever had (laughs) probably the the worst thought he's ever had but that falls through because they're doing construction audit or something and then he enlists the help of the new generation in terms of like the mm-hmm. Amina and the Dion, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and so they gather at the beach house to get things ready. He doesn't have place settings. Coop calls in reinforcements in terms of Kia and Davida and that other football guy. I don't remember his name. <laughs> um, and then they help. Also, I was just like, so were Kia and Davida not invited to the wedding at first? Because that's what it was giving. <laughs> Oh, true. That they didn't know what was going on. Yeah, they were like, oh, we're here to help. But <laughs> That's crazy, too, because, well, this was unplanned at the time. Yeah, but they <laughs> but also had to plan wedding, but it wasn't like, we us. also heard, yeah, I don't know. It was just, like, sort of, <laughs> I was like, what's going on? Yeah. Uh, so they were there, but, um, yeah, I, I don't know. Was Asher there? 
don't even yes, think Ashton was in this he episode. He, he just didn't have any lines. That's what oh, okay. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, this is rap. And again, I think that it was, at least from some online stuff, that it seems like Cody isn't coming back. So I guess we okay. could take like uh, 13 as the ending for Asher, but to also not like solidify that ending in this episode <laughs> or the last because he didn't have much to do in the last episode either so exactly, it was just like exactly. we're really <laughs> yeah what about whatever happened to jj oh he uh he moved to tibet in between last season and this season tibet yeah tibet okay Okay. So anyway, so that was that was that. Um, then things are starting to call to co- come together. Liv calls him because she had come to that realization, and he takes her to the James's backyard, which is already done. Which I was like, I thought we were gonna get a scene of him like connecting the dots of like it should be in the James's backyard, but we never really officially got it. Mm-hmm. We just got him talking to Coop about the coordinates. Uh, but anyway, regardless, the backyard was done up nicely. People were like, are they going to do them right? I think that they did them right. I think that it was a very nice looking wedding. Uh, yes. I also think the reception was very, very gorgeous. Yes. Um, uh, the colors were beautiful. This question that I wanted the answer to and other people wanted the answer to as well. Uh, the fact that like Dylan was the best man and apparently... Jordan was the man of honor. There's a man of honor? An all American there is. Okay. I was expecting Layla to be the maid of honor. Yeah. Well, honest to God, I wasn't really looking at where people's placements were in the wedding. Um, I was. Enjoying the music, I was like, "Oh, y'all have oh, a budget." Oh, can we talk about? I think if if there they was blew a blue with the budget for all of those songs, oh, I was yeah. having a good time. I was. Somebody, I, I was enjoying the song. They had like Lauren Daigle. Somebody said that they play a lot of Lauren Daigle for Spolivia, which is very interesting. <laughs> they said oh, they need the gospel what, songs what, or it's what, Christian what, songs. What, uh, the one that they were playing in the beginning when it was like oh. the very beginning. That nice little melody. Okay. Oh, you're thinking remember. about you're thinking about the uh the reception songs. Yes. I where they had I wasn't dance. even thinking that far ahead. I was thinking about I loved I give the tens probably my honestly this was my favorite part of the episode is when they put yes. it collide and she was walking down the aisle with GW and and Jordan. Um, that was probably again hands down probably my favorite scene of the episode. <clears throat> and then of course the community right like well yeah. we get this before i before i skip to that layla grace laura and denise helped live with her dress that was really great i feel like denise eats up every single scene that she's in and i just need to take the time to say that i love her so bad i hope that she's in the next season um and then grace and spencer and dylan have a moment where they have their little family moment um coop is officiating and starts making jokes and it's sort of looks like it's going to be a flash to the other wedding that we had, but then it's like, nah, we actually going to get the vows this time because we're going to get the vows for the last wedding. Um, and they have that beautiful montage of the vows. I was surprised that they yeah. chose to do the whole back and forth thing. Okay. Yeah. As opposed to just like a Yeah, just as opposed to just like, yeah, as opposed to just like a monologue. Because they just, filled the episode with so much of these flashbacks and other stuff. You couldn't get a true monologue. But then it was like the the vows themselves were like, that's part of the reason I couldn't like write them down is because I was just yeah. like, oh, there's like, they're saying more and they're saying more and they're saying more. And so I was mm-hmm. just like for me paying attention to like what they were saying, I just would have loved the for it not to be back and forth. But I get yeah. I liked I loved the vows. To really like absorb it, it was beautiful, yeah. but I I understand what you mean by that. Typically, for two characters that have had the history that they do, you do mm-hmm. get those long romantic monologues. Um, 
but maybe that would be a good time to have like certain flashbacks or scenes right. or whatnot. And maybe um, it could have just been a one to one with Vegas in terms of like, yeah, they did the flashbacks before, but this is a just is like solidifying it, just like they mm-hmm. solidified their love. It could have made it just a little bit more iconic, but yeah. like I said, I feel like they blew the budget when it came to the reception music. <laughs> reception, yeah. I was like, oh, these are actual songs, and these yeah. are actual songs that I like and yeah. like dance to and stuff at a wedding. Yeah, they did their like, cute little thing. They had like their, you know, yeah. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I, I like, will oh, say the one piece of the vow, and hopefully I'll do a uh, Spencer and Olivia Spolivia breakdown of the season and get a little deeper into the vows for people. Um, for the audience uh, and also for myself because I really didn't, it was a lot uh, it was very quick I'll, I'll say it was like very quick when they said it but something that stuck out to me is the thank you for teaching me how to love you I love that mm. particular line That's so beautiful. yeah 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 so I love that from I write that down yeah, somebody yes. write that down. Um, but <laughs> like you were saying the reception was really cool um, I personally love the you need no other body. Didn't I hear that one? Which one? Was it wasn't it Essence? Didn't they play Essence? They played so many songs that I really enjoyed. <laughs> that I wasn't. I didn't pay dun, attention. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, that, that was like the second or third one. Yeah, I guess so. Wizkid Thames. Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Essence. They didn't. Yes. Essence. essence. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. Yes, they did. Do I also that. know they played This Is How you, This Is This how Is How We Do It. it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Which is a very like LA flashback to the cotillion. Yeah. I was not. I was also just like, oh, we're spending a lot of time on this dance. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, it was multiple scenes. I feel like they had to learn a whole dance in order to do this. They did have to learn. They had to learn multiple dances in order to do this. And I'm like, yeah, I loved it. Don't get me wrong. I feel like I would have like lessened it by like two songs so that okay. we could get other wrapping up. Gotcha. I just felt like it was a very long dance sequence. Yeah. But it also felt like this is for Sam and Daniel and this is for, it felt like like NK, the showrunner, like this might have been something that she really wanted to do. Um, okay. Yeah. How did you feel about the length of the dance? The length of the dance? <laughs> yeah, the length. I, of the like dance. I said, I was having a good time. I was I listening. Was I, was I was jamming. I was jamming. Yeah. I was yeah. cooking and I was like, okay. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I was like, this is fun. I feel like I'm at the wedding, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it's also because we didn't. I love when they started flashing, like it wasn't just their, uh, like it wasn't just their first dance, mm-hmm. but it was then they actually flashed to like the actual reception, which I thought was nice. Yeah. Because it was like they did like five six songs for their actual first dance and then they like yeah. flashed to throughout the reception yeah, throughout the reception the last pi- the pictures at the end were nice too yeah the pictures I'm at happy the end that they changed her hair and she looked nice like they came correct with the hair also the wedding dress there are differing opinions on it I liked it it was giving very a walk to remember with the veil um, okay, and that's one of my favorite shows. So I, mm. I personally liked it. Um, I cry every time. It's such a great movie. I cry every time. It's such a great movie. every time. And every time I say I'm not going to, every time, it's boohoo. It's actually very bad. I know. It's but. such a good movie. I'm, I when we're that. offline, when we're done with this, I'm gonna tell you something about that movie. <laughs> um, right. But I love how we're just like, and these are our other favorite movies. <laughs> But yeah, it was it was a nice wedding, and then they did the whole sort of toast to Spencer James um, after that. Obviously, Jordan had his speech, which was very quick, and he was talking about just how you know he loves the both of them, and that Liv broke her promise to him, but that it's replaced with her vows to Spencer. So that was nice. Yes. Um. Yeah, and that was sort of, and that was pretty much the episode. That was pretty much the episode. Uh oh. Um. Spencer thanked the men in his life. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> what are you saying? I forget. 
I don't. He was just like, oh, yeah, losing my dad and losing Billy. And thank you all for being there for me. And well, the community be, stood beside him. Yeah, teaching, teaching me how they to be a man. Up. I was yeah. just like, yeah. This is I think. Up. I thought it was a really good send off for him. I, like I, I do said, think it was a good send off for him. Obviously, I'm not a guy, so I was just like, "Yeah, okay." But I appreciate that representation for black men to talk to other black men in his life who mm-hmm. have been there for him, and how meaningful that is to like to see that on television. I appreciate it. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 But for me, I was just like, I. <laughs> This is not necessarily something that's like uber relatable for me. <laughs> okay. But I appreciated it from Spencer's perspective because he did need like a lot of guidance and having lost mm-hmm. his father and Billy and all that stuff. Um Yeah, and then we talked about the community reception and preach as the MC and uh yeah, yeah. Thanking Spencer, all that good stuff. That was it. Then we got the pictures. That's the conclusion, ma'am. All American as we know it is done. How do you feel? Yeah. I I don't know if I can have a proper opinion because I did miss like a season and a half. But I'm going to be a broken record and say again, I enjoyed the wrap up. I think Seeing where the character started and how it ended, I think it made sense for his character. I enjoyed the fact that he got his flowers and Mm -hmm. you could really see that he appreciated um, everything the community had to say. I just, I really liked the fact that they showed up for him, like you said, Um, and we got to see that kind of 360 moment. So Yeah, yeah. I think that was super meaningful. I think. Mm-hmm. And what was it? <laughs> I did think this line was a little bit cheesy now that I'm thinking about it, but yeah. it's like that line that Jordan said where uh, he said, Oh, Crenshaw's son and now Liv is going to be like their daughter in law. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I didn't even realize he said that. That's... So it just felt like it, 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 again. I appreciated the uh, 360 moment, like you said. Um, I listened to the big parts. I was like, I zoned out at the minute stuff. Anything that was a little off base, I was kind of. I must have just shut it out. Um, yeah. Uh, no, but it's <laughs> not off base. <laughs> not off base. <laughs> one off lines, you know. Oh, one of those off lines. Um, but yeah, no, I did appreciate the community coming through for him. Um, and again, they did an amazing, amazing job. And uh, it was great. It was great. I, I guess one thing I wish that we did have was like a send off for the group itself. I uh, mm. now that I'm like thinking of like what am I thinking of this ending and the fact that it's a different show and all of that together and just the fact that these cast of characters they're not going to be together anymore. I'm really yeah. it's now hitting me that I'm kind of surprised that they didn't have a vortex send off. I mean, they have spent time on this friend group through a lot of like disgruntlement from the audience of like why are these friends still together in xyz and they've like stuck with it they've powered through it they've, you know they've earned it in a lot of ways they've worked really hard to keep this group of people together so much so that they actually invented a name that bugged me at times uh but like invented a name for it um and i'm kind of surprised that like there wasn't a final scene with that with the group they could have done like a group picture yeah and then maybe yeah. not even like a group picture but just like a you know what would i have done it was kind of like i appreciate it and this is what i i liked the fact that they used the location of the swings for coop and spencer and mm-hmm. something like that of just like I don't know if <laughs> they can't really like arrange a fire pit there, but I'm like, I don't know, just the group standing in a circle and being like, man, we're, 
we're off. Like it was them it, playing you know, a pickup game at the football field. Yeah, and and I mean, not even that. I mean, maybe not that. But <laughs> like something because I'm like, what is all Americans? I'm thinking it is a fire pit, fire pit, but something that's more realistic for where they were. What is all Americans' version of? And people are gonna, might be annoyed hearing me say this, but like One Tree Hill and the, the whole group go into the courts, the Riverside Court. Like, what okay. was their version of that? For okay, like the their world? third space or the space that was iconic to their group. Yeah, yeah, and it just yeah. The Baker House, they were already there. <laughs> the Baker House or the Beach House? Like, I'm just very yeah. surprised that we did it. Like now, I'm like, wow, I'm. It's truly hitting me that this that did not over. happen at all. Mm. And I just, Dang. I don't know. Look at Lexi; she gonna come back, y'all. She says she done. She not done. <laughs> <laughs> she yeah. is not finished. Lexi has grown not just personally but professionally in the work that I do. Keeps me very busy. So no, 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 not. But <laughs> <laughs> that's good though. Like, um, no, like I was saying, like all good things do come to an end come to an end and so like this book. I, it it's not like a it doesn't always have to be a goodbye it could be you know a see you later it's but it's see you know, later. Just be a, a transition it's a see you this later. is a huge time of your this is like a, a this is like your baby honestly yeah and now you know it's graduating it's graduating. graduating. It's graduating. So. It's graduating. So that was a perfect way to end it. Yeah. It's not a goodbye. It's a. It's a see you later. <laughs> yeah. And maybe that's how they meant it to an all American. Like it's ba- not maybe. 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 I'll. Yeah. We'll. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see.